Welcome back to The Breakfast. Lagos suburbs, including Ajegunle, Apapa, and Mordofi, are expected to have Wi-Fi services. The service, which is being championed by FIAM Wi-Fi, is expected to come in phases with focus on high-density, low-income areas and rural communities to provide affordable and reliable connectivity for the mass market. The founder and chief executive officer, FIAM uh, Wi-Fi, Aki Marino, said the firm will install hotspots across the state. He explained that the firm has started with 25 hotspots in Ajigunle, with uh, plans to install another 100 over the next six months. And joining us to talk more on this is uh, the, of course, founder of, uh, and CEO of FIAM Wi-Fi, Aki Marino. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for joining us. Could you just, uh, tell us um, how affordable is this really? You're starting with Ajay Um Currently, the um, NCC just approved our new pricing regime. Um, so for one gig, for one gig, it's 200 naira. Is that real or is the one gig and you one have gig, like no. um, 20 MB inside? No, no, it's for one gig, 200 naira. Uh, five gig, we're doing for 500 naira and 10 gig, for 800 naira. But the kicker in all of that is that without validity or expiration period. So if you start on 1st of January, you go and you use, you know, 500 MB, you go off for six months, you come back. You won't have that It's, it's still there. No, so it's there's still, no role. It's, it's, it's still there. Oh, it's still there. It's you still can, there. That means you can roll over. Yeah, it, just, yeah. it just carries on, yeah. So without any validity or expiration, because typically all your network operators, they give you validity for a few days, you know. A month. Yeah or a month or whatever it is without rollover but ours is just an open-ended so 200 naira for one gig yes correct what is what's the quality because and because there's a, there's other network providers across the country you buy really you know affordable data and you can barely use it yes yes so you know the, the model that we're using the business model that we're using is that um, or that at least for the technical aspect is that we will ensure that within each locality we have additional capacity so that uh, the network is a lot, lot, uh, you know, is a lot, lot faster, and it's a, it's a better service for for consumers. At the end of the day, you know, we believe that data needs to be ubiquitous. Everybody needs to have access to data, and currently there are too many bottlenecks with the big telcos that they don't really allow people to to, to get the full benefit of the internet. Uh, tell us more about the targeted communities and why um, you're choosing them. It, it comes down to pricing. If you typically most Nigerians buy maybe a gig at a time, um, and typically that can range from 300 naira to 1,000 naira, depending on which network operator and for the validity, and that sort of that that is really unfair and it uh, drives inequality in data. You know, our, our business is a social impact business, but with a sustainable financial model to it. It's important that people access the internet. The United Nations has said the internet is a human right. And connectivity is a human right. So why shouldn't why shouldn't you know lower income people have access to the internet? Uh, the quick question would be: If the pricing is so low, mm. um, how would you maintain financial viability? Okay, I, I take Lagos um, for an example. There are 22 million people who live in Lagos. You strip out you know the high net worths and you know the too young and the too old. So you probably have about uh, 10 million people addressable market for us. If we get a 10 percent of that population buying us uh, our data $1 every month. So that's a million dollars a month in revenue. So we should be able to, to manage. Okay, and, and, and let's talk also about the highbrow areas. Um, do you plan, of course, extending to those areas? And how competitive you know, do you think it will be in the areas that you're currently targeting? You know, the thing for us is that highbrow areas, everybody targets are highbrow areas, you know, Ikoyi has so many different, you can, you can get every Riders. single network. It's, you know, and it's, it's not, ours is really for the mainland, for low income communities, high density communities, but we do actually have an offering for the highbrow areas. We're, we've, um, we should be launching our new product, our enterprise product in the next couple of weeks, which will include an IPTV streaming service um, for about 12,000 naira uh, a month for unlimited um, internet. Yeah. Uh, so we, do know, we do know that you know, some of these initiatives become and it's commended and everybody's mm -hmm. on board. Sustainability, what is the plan? 
to be sustainable, what we're doing is that we're, we're looking at a number of providers to provide us with bandwidth. Uh, where we work with Vodacom and we also work with Dolphin Telecom, so which are the two huge um, uh, bandwidth providers. And as I said, our business, our technical model is to ensure that each local government, we drop enough capacity for that local government so that people are actually able to access it. I was also going to talk about the, the name Fiam. Fiam, that Fiam. Uh, Fiam is uh, pigeon now, fast. So we are a fast Fiam. name. Fiam. Uh, yeah. So Fiam. The well, data doesn't go Fiam, but we go Fiam. Okay, the, the hotspot location, mm -hmm. um, let's say for um, an environment like where we are now, where would be, where would you locate it that people can access it? Or do people need to go to where you have the hotspot in order to assess it? Uh, I, a couple of months ago, I sent a, uh, an aunt of mine, oh, I was doing a project in Ajagula and she wanted to get the internet. I said to her, oh, well, if you really want that pricing, you had better move from your house in VI to Ajagula. <laughs> she laughed and said, no, not possible. But, you know, essentially, at the end of the day, what we're doing is we want to roll it out across as much of Lagos as possible. Our plan is to have 5,000, 6,000 hotspots all over Lagos. So um, by the end of this year, we'll be um, uh, Ojo, Ali Mosho, Apapa, Amor Dolphin. So those are the areas that we're really going and targeting. Next year, Sulere, um, Ikurudu, uh, Badagri as well. So we really want to cover, you know, all of Lagos. Well, when does Lekki uh, come into the plan? We are actually in final discussions to start something in Lekki this year for somebody, yes. So that's, uh, that's very hush-hush at the moment, so I can't really discuss it too much because we haven't okay, signed Okay, but yet. at least we have that exclusive that you're yes. certainly going to Lekki. Yes, definitely, definitely. All right, uh, Mr. Aki Marino, thank you so much thank for you stopping much. by and for speaking with us. Thank you very much for having me on your program. Thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.